If you have a very pure liquid, it's possible to cool it below its melting temperature without it crystallizing. The resulting material is in what's called a supercooled state. This state is not the equilibrium or lowest energy state of the material. That would be the crystalline state. The supercooled state is instead metastable, which means that it will persist if you don't disturb it. But even a very gentle disturbance can cause it to crystallize. I'll demonstrate this now using supercooled water. Two and a half hours ago, I put six bottles of Fiji water in the freezer. Fiji water works well because it's very pure. I'll explain later why that's necessary. Here's a bottle. You can see that it's still liquid. There's a little air bubble at the top, and it moves around as I move the bottle. Now, I'll disturb the supercooled water by giving it a little bang, and you'll be able to see the water crystallize almost immediately. So why does this dramatic crystallization occur? The reason is that the phase transition from liquid to solid isn't just instantaneous when the temperature drops below zero Celsius. To turn into a solid, first a small crystal called the nucleus, which you can imagine as a little sphere, randomly forms inside the liquid. This happens all the time, whether the temperature is below or above zero, all throughout the liquid. What depends on temperature is what happens to these nuclei. When the temperature is above zero, the liquid state of water is energetically favorable over the solid state. So the nuclei spontaneously shrink, and the liquid does not crystallize. When the temperature is below zero, the solid state is energetically favorable. However, this favorable energy difference is in competition with the energy from the surface tension at the surface of the nuclei, which favors the nuclei shrinking. To figure out what will happen to a nucleus, we have to see how uh, these two energies scale with the size of the nucleus. So if the nucleus is a little sphere of radius r, then the work it takes to create this uh, nucleus, in the solid, which is a solid crystal, the first term is proportional to the volume. That's due to the energy uh, difference between the solid and liquid phases. So that looks like this. And the second term is due to the surface tension of, this, of the nucleus. And it's competing with the first term. So it looks like that. And so if you look at what this work looks like as a function of the radius, it has this sort of form. There is a maximum at, what is, at the critical radius. And the height there is the critical work. If the radius of the nucleus is larger than the critical radius, then it will increase in size until the entire liquid is crystallized. However, if the radius is smaller than the critical radius, then it will shrink spontaneously and go away. When I banged the water bottle and the whole thing crystallized, what happened is that I gave it enough energy to overcome this energy barrier and create a nucleus of large enough size that the whole liquid crystallized. I said before that if you want to supercool water, it has to be very pure. That's because when there are impurities in the water, like little dust particles or cracks in the container, it drastically reduces the critical work, the energy barrier to nucleation and crystallization. I'll show you a demonstration to convince you that impurities are responsible for nucleation. First, I'll pour a little of the super cold water onto this clean counter. Notice that it remains liquid. Now I'll pour a little of the super cold water onto this plate with some ice on it. Now it immediately crystallizes. How do these impurities help the water crystallize? When a nucleus forms on top of an impurity uh, called the nucleation site, the surface area of the nucleus that is exposed to the water is drastically reduced. So the surface area energy is reduced, and the energy barrier to nucleation becomes much lower. This is why we don't see supercooled water all the time in your daily life. Water is not usually totally pure. I hope you think supercooled water is as cool as I do. Well, you saw that, right? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh. Alright, get ready! Get wait, ready! Wait, wait, okay! <laughs> How did we miss that? Ah. Okay, you ready? Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm, so was, I'm ready now. I did nothing. I didn't even bang it. I'm ready. But you saw it, right? Are we doing so this one? Cool.